How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here, continuing our Sekiro walkthrough. Uh, so, where I'm at now is I'm right at the gates where we already went. This is where the cannon guy was up there shooting cannonballs at us, so we quickly jumped down to the right. Do you guys remember that? Well, uh, the reason I'm showing you this is because I want to show you how to get to that shop. We actually were going to go get the shop uh, keeper, and then I got sidetracked a little bit and forgot what I was doing. So you're just going to want to grapple up here all the way up top oh come on there we go and shop guy is right here and the reason i'm showing you this is because he sells well first of all you get a trophy or achievement just for talking to him and second of all he sells robert's firecrackers which is very useful uh on a certain boss that's up ahead so i already got the uh firecrackers now i need to uh, go ahead and warp back also guys um <laughs> Check this out. Actually, it doesn't show, but I have 10 or 11 skill points in the bank ready to use. Uh, yeah, I have to go to an idol to show you. And how I got so many skill points in the bank was uh, just clearing out this area that you can see behind me over and over and over. So I would uh, warp to the idol that's right up ahead up there. You can actually barely see the blue flame right above my head there. And uh, yeah, I would just make my way through here. I would warp back, you know, just clear it all out, warp back to the idol, make my way through here, clear it all out. And in doing so, I did find a few uh, minor items that I had missed in my first uh, go through. And that's actually something that I wanted to point out because in this game, it can be kind of good to grind levels. You also grind money that way. Anyways, let's go ahead and warp back. And you do catch items that you missed here and there. So all in all, it, it's a good thing to go back through areas and clear them out. So I'm just going to warp back to the dilapidated temple really quick to fit my prosthetic arm with the Robert's fireworks because like I said there's going to be a boss up ahead that will uh, make use of it. Now at this point uh, because we have the bell we could go ahead and pray here and open up the path to Harada Estates and uh, that is something that you might want to consider doing before you even go on if you're following this walkthrough because you're going to find two more prosthetic uh, arm upgrades in that area the axe and the flamethrower but we're going to go to that place next after we clear out uh, the area that i'm at right uh going to do in this video all right let's go ahead and uh, fit our firecracker okie dokie that's it that's all I needed from him. And then we have to go ahead and equip it right there. Alright, so you guys want to see what it looks like? It looks like this. Just throws out a ring of firecrackers. Now, if you upgrade the firecrackers a little bit more, you can actually uh, make it a 360 degree attack. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and spend some skill points. As you can see, I have 11 skill points saved up uh, from grinding only for like an hour or two, maybe. I mean, you can level up pretty fast in this game. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the Makiri counter, which lets me counter thrust attacks pretty easily. And I am actually going to... Hmm, I might actually uh, wait on that a little bit. Uh, once you get the axe and the flamethrower on your arm, you can actually uh, get a new skill tree for leveling up your sh uh, your prosthetic arm. So anyways, all right, let's, let's travel to the outskirts wall stairway. And we're gonna continue right where we left off the last video. Just want to take a couple of minutes to go over everything I've been doing and go ahead and get that firecracker equipped uh, for when we take on a certain boss up ahead. There's a mini boss, there's a general dude, which isn't shouldn't be too tough. Uh, sometimes he can kill me though, so hopefully, and sometimes I can destroy him, so it just kind of depends. And then not too far beyond that, there's another boss. So let's go ahead and take out these guys. Uh, look at that, I have 2,000 gold, and that's after, uh... So here's the counter. That's what it does. 
Um, when, when you have somebody that thrusts, you can just spam the uh, circle button or uh, B if you're on Xbox. Uh, neutral circle, neutral B, not pushing in direction. So go ahead and uh, uh, swing up here and uh, swing a left. There's going to be a guy with a rifle up ahead. You can see him. I'm actually just going to go ahead and sprint behind him. Take him out. This can be really annoying. Range, range attackers are, are generally pretty annoying. Uh, you can hear somebody banging the, the bell over there. I'm going to go ahead and run back. And I'm going to drop down. If you ever get in, uh, in a situation in this fort where you feel overwhelmed... Oops, didn't mean to do that. Or maybe you attracted the attention of the mini boss and you don't want to fight him yet. Just go ahead and run up here and uh, grapple up there and run back out here. And they'll, they'll forget about you pretty quickly as you can see there. So now that we got that rifleman out, I'm actually going to peek out this hole right here. And uh, grapple over here. Let's go take out the uh, dude with the, with the pot lid or whatever he's banging on. Alright. I'm just gonna go ahead and hang on this ledge until they forget about me. Shouldn't take too long. After we clear out this fort area, which is basically just a big square, um, we're gonna be heading towards this broken bridge area. But first, I wanna kill the mini boss because he drops a prayer bead. Also, that uh, cabin you see right there, uh, if you follow that pathway, there's some items. Actually, I can see an item already. Let's go grab that item. Uh, but it leads to uh, a boss that is probably too hard for us. So let's grab the Divine Confetti. Uh, I haven't actually done this part up here, but it, it's, uh, I guess, a headless dude, and he's really hard to fight right now, so we're just going to do that part later. All right, let's, let's go ahead and get, get back up here now that people have forgotten about us a little bit. Just want to clear out all the henchmen before we fight the big guy, you know? That's all we're doing here. Let's take out this uh, rifleman here. Oh, come on, I was blocking. Are you kidding me? I'll just use a pellet. That's really annoying. I did not want to take damage there. Alright, looks like there's one more dude up here to kill. You heard nothing. If you get them up against the wall, I've noticed, you can just spam R1 and it will definitely kill them. Okay, um, I think we've cleared out everybody. Hopefully I did. Be annoying if somebody has attacked us when we're fighting this mini boss. So, uh, the general's down there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and sneak attack him to take half of his health, and then we're gonna try to break his posture as quickly as possible to finish him off. I think, I think breaking his posture is, uh, the easiest way to kill him rather than just trying to, uh, break down his health bar basically it takes longer to do that so we're gonna be spamming attacks on him and trying to deflect as many uh, of his attacks as we possibly can and of course there's a dude right here All right, we'll take him out just watch out for his sweeping attacks guys Let's see if the firecracker is on him. A little bit. Almost got his posture broken. Woo! Watch out for that grab. Should be almost broken, guys. There we go, baby. Bye-bye. Feels good, man. Got another prayer bead. Got him first try. That is not usually the case. Okay. Um, 
I think there's like an item right around here. I already got it. I don't remember what it was. So not nothing too uh, important. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna go this way. Back to the broken bridge we saw earlier, as I mentioned. So um, we can't make our way to that temple uh, quite yet because the bridge is broken. But if you look over to the left, we can go ahead and grapple down here. And uh, just go ahead and fall down here and grab this item right now. Pellet. And we're just gonna keep dropping down until we get to our next save point. Now, like I said, at this point, you still could go to Harada Estates. Um, you just gotta bring the bell to the dilapidated temple. And Harada Estates does have the two prosthetic arm upgrades. Oh wait, there's like a lizard right here, I think. Watch out for this lizard, dude. He likes to spew poison on you. Uh, but, and if you do that, there is an enemy that drops another prayer bead. Uh, but, uh, I'm going to continue on because the boss is not super hard up ahead and he drops something that will enhance our attack power. Okay, so this part up ahead, we're going to be facing a very, very uh, intimidating enemy that you basically can't kill right now. I mean, I mean, maybe you can a little bit later, but we're, we're basically going to be trying to avoid this massive, massive snake. Which is basically a god of the land around these parts. Alright, there he is. Lips curling a little bit. So what we are going to do is wait for him to look away, grapple across. And fall down into this grass. And then when he looks away again, we're gonna jump across. Stop looking at me. Run, run, run. Alright, as soon as you enter the cave here, it'll automatically trigger a cutscene right here where the snake... Not a cutscene, but every time you come into this t uh, tunnel, that, that will happen. So, alright. Go ahead and drop down here a little bit. Okay. Go ahead and hug this wall thing. He's going to... He's going to peek his head right around on that side. And as soon as he does that, we are going to run down here. Oh god. Go ahead and jump up here into the grass. <laughs> I almost messed that up. Now, in the grass, he likes to, like, put his body all up in this. So this spot up here in the corner, I think he won't be able to touch us. And then as soon as his body goes back up, we're going to scoot across here. And then when he does that again, we're going to shimmy across this wall here. This guy has no idea. Any minute now. Okay, let's go. As soon as he looks over there, we need to make our way across here. All 
All right, once he looks away, we're gonna make a little dash towards that little hut thing. All right, let's go. And we're just gonna chill inside this thing until he puts his eyeball really, really close to it. And we're gonna stab it. Let's go. Yeah, take it. Okay, and as he's doing that, we're gonna run back here, maybe. Woo! I think we made him angry. Yep, we did. Alright, let's go ahead and jump over here. All right, before we go too high though, there's an item over here on the left. Let's grab the sugar. That'll boost our attack power. Let's go ahead and grab the shrine. All right, guys, feels good. Now, we're gonna be approaching a our first real boss of the game, actually, pretty quick here. Oh, that suppresses our sound. All right, let's go ahead and grapple up top here. Now, this is just a small kind of camp. There are some enemies down there in the middle. Uh, got a sniper in that tower, as always. We got a big dude with a, a bat over there, you can see. Uh, we're going to make our way to the right up here before we go on. You can eavesdrop this guy. Uh, basically, he just says that the uh, fireworks startled his horse, which is a clue that you can use the fireworks against the uh, boss up ahead. Alright, let's take that dude out. Now, I want to uh, jump up here. We want to get behind the big guy. Grab the sugar. I'm gonna kill the sniper here. He's so annoying. Um, let's just blitz this sniper over here. Hey, bud. Don't want to fight these guys at the same time. But this guy. There we go. Let's pick up the last remaining items over here. Ceramic shard. A little balloon of wealth there, which will boost your uh, money. The heavy coin purse is nice. I think that's like 500 or 400 coins. So that's, that's really nice. You can see I got 2,000 coins just by grinding levels. All right, so if you did take some damage and uh, you don't really feel like going into the boss fight with, uh, you know, not full health, that's fine. Go ahead and rest. One thing before we go into the boss, uh, one thing that I did forget to tell you guys. Um, let me let me go ahead and warp to this uh, idol really quick so I can show you something. Uh, there's a guy that you can easily miss, but he, he, you can give him money and he will basically tell you about your past. So, uh, if you warp to this, uh, idol right, th right here, just go ahead and drop down and dude's right here. So, I've already purchased a little bit. He basically said that he was there when... Uh, I lost my memory and that I'm gonna go ahead and buy these pellets and that uh, I was like looking for something and like he didn't really give me a lot of information let's let's purchase some more information for 100 cents see what he says I'll give you some information about shinobi tools oh come on 
A tube with fire blasting out of it. Harada Estate. Yeah. He's basically telling me that... The upgrades at Harada Estate. I already knew that! I could have saved my 100 sen, man. You're a ripoff. Alright, well... Never mind, that guy's not very good. But I wanted to show you him anyways before I forgot. Um... All right, let's go fight the uh, the bolt, the boss, the boss. Let's go fight the boss. Go ahead and warp to the Castle Gate Fortress. So this guy is uh, mounted on a horse, a very large horse. He's a big dude. Basically, you're just gonna want to deflect his attacks as much as possible. Uh, you're gonna want to grapple to him when he's kind of far away. You'll see the grappling icon. Every time you grapple to him, you can basically get a couple hits off on him. And uh, every now and then, if you can, go ahead and throw the firecrackers out because, like I said, that'll startle his uh, horse a bit. And um, that really helps out. So just go ahead and take out that dude. Let's walk up the stairs here. Grab the pellet, no problem. I think this is locked, but we're gonna, we're gonna open this in a minute. Yeah, after we fight the boss, probably. All right. Go ahead and grapple over here, up here. So this is where we're going to be fighting the boss. There's a couple of items on the ground you can see there. I'll probably just go ahead and grab that as soon as we get down there. All right, guys. So let's just go ahead and get this over with. He, he is kind of tough, but if you get his rhythm down, he can be doable. Go ahead and get a few hits off him right, right off the bat. If you see the grapple icon, usually that's a good time to do it. Even if you don't get a lot of posture damage, or a lot of damage on the uh, firecracker, it does a lot of posture damage, so that's okay. We should have him here pretty, pretty soon. There we go. Got all three of my healing gourds plus the resurrect. Grapple to him again. Resurrect. I think we got him, guys. Thank God for the resurrect. 
Feels good, man. Die! Just die. You can go, Horsey. I like you. The horse disappears as well. Alright, guys. Well, if you did beat him, congratulations. It did take me a few tries. Um, he is really hard, but the awesome thing is you get this memory and it basically will boost your attack power. And this will allow us to upgrade our prosthetic arm, which is really, really good. Alright, sweet. And we got level 11. Very nice. Excuse me. All right, let's go ahead and rest right here. So let's go ahead and enhance our attack power with the memory. The battle memory of an extraordinary foe. Although distant, recollection of such a memory provided sustenance for the wolf. Gyobi Oniwa once led a group of infamous bandits, but was defeated by Ishin who was so captivated by his show of strength that he took him in as an Ashina warrior. Oniwa would later go on to become Gen Genichiro's Ashina's most trusted retrainer. Sweet, so now we do a little bit more attack. We have, instead of one attack, we have two. <laughs> oh man. So, feels good. Let's go ahead and open this door if we want. Though we're not going to continue on yet. That will save this... Uh, next area for uh, later. What we're going to do next is the Harada Estate. So let's go ahead and travel back to the dilapidated temple. Yeah, congratulations if you beat that horse guy, man. I know it's not easy. Some people it takes like a hundred tries. So just if you if you keep dying from it, just keep trying, man. You will get it eventually. Sometimes you just got to get lucky with the attacks and the spacing and everything. Alright guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, next episode we're going to go ahead and clear out the Harada Estates. Uh, the estates themselves are not too difficult, but the boss there is pretty hard. Um, no spoilers yet, but yeah, uh, it's a very difficult boss. I think even more difficult than the horseman. So anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and drop a like. Be sure to subscribe for more Sekiro videos as well. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, guys.